morning welcome back to another video so today um it's a little bit different video but i think you'll find it interesting because it's an organization video for this chaotic kitchen so pantry is done as far as the the build of it right so now we're trying to figure out what we're using the pantry for what, what are we storing in here? What's going to come from the main pantry over to this pantry? And we're trying to get a game plan on the containers that we want to put in here so that we can break down this pantry over here. This kitchen is so unorganized. So that's the main thing we're trying to tackle today. Right? Mm -hmm. What do you have? What do you have? That's a paper and tape measure. What that for? To, to get the measurements of the containers. The measurements of the containers? Huh? Height. Oh. Width. Length. Okay. So let's first determine what we want over here. So okay. let me show y'all this pantry. Woo! I don't know. In fact, let me show you every woman's worst nightmare in a kitchen. I'm going to show you all the areas that gives me horrible anxiety that needs to be organized. Let me show you that first. Call what? <laughs> you call with your drawers. You know how your mama always say, make sure that you uh down you clean drawers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the main pantry. I did a little bit of an organization Oof. a couple months ago, and two days later it was back like this. Okay. See, the problem is, is that the shelves are so how, how deep is those shelves? I think I just made the shelves too deep. Right, the shelves are. 22 inches deep and so even yesterday when I was looking for canned goods like I was trying to make the chili mm -hmm. I had to move all of this stuff out the way because I can't see none of this I can't see what's in here okay there's so so many canned goods and stuff get buried like it's containers behind containers and so you gotta move stuff out they just set the, the cake up there a little bit <laughs> so it's just like it's a lot and there's so much shelving, there's so much potential, but it's just a lot. I'm even thinking about, now that you got me hooked on the slider thing, I'm even thinking about maybe making a couple of these, like make a box or something where I can slide out just for the canned goods. Okay. That's just a thought. So what in here, in this, okay, so let me show you, let me show you this first. So this is the pantry, right? Pantry. Definitely needs organization. Moved stuff over here. Now this is going to change too because I want this to become like the drink station because you have the the uh, beverage center thing here, coffee here, right? I don't like these hanging there. No, so I want to use at least these two shelves for the coffee for other drinking stuff. And then maybe those can be extra entertainment stuff storage. As far as I'm talking like things. Like up here at these two high ones. But here, brace yourself. Brace yourself. <laughs> Just brace yourself. Look it. This could go over in that cabinet where I was just sharing with you. Because it's a, a, a cake mixer that... I don't think I've ever used. And then over here, look at it. This bowl, don't, this bowl's supposed to be in that drawer, in this drawer over here. Look it. Definitely needs to be organized. It drives me crazy, and nothing is in the new one. Again, so. And I have my, and I have. I this is. Free <sighs> Sharon. Great. I think this might be the only organized space that makes sense in the whole house. That cabinet over here needs, so literally everything is going to get shifted around so that it can make sense. So this is like all glass. So this one is fine. This cabinet and that cabinet is perfect, right? This one is a corner cabinet. It's not horrible, but it's a lot of coffee mugs up there on this shelf, I know. So those will move over there in that space. So then this will kind of 
work itself out in a way. Okay, so that's that that one's fine. This one is it's okay. Casserole dishes. This one is not bad. I'm this one, I'm okay with this one. You okay with this one? Yeah. Okay, you didn't sound convincing, but okay. This is the spice cabinet, which <sighs> man, that one okay. I just like to buy like I I typically and I gotta go get more spices, but I yeah, like I to buy all Yeah, I think these should have their and, own shelf. Like these should be. And they and they, I like to get this maybe size. up here. But I'm out. I'm out of so many seasonings. I gotta just go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So when they in there they nice and neat but i used to have a a little thing like a little tear thing of course we can't even seen, reach this one have so. you seen the things that pull down like i this? haven't so now yeah, I mean that you have seen the the chaos this, this is me this is the only thing oh I'm and then this one this one this right here the this only thing i'm asking for here's another i need this to be all my pots and skillets that i use to cook nothing else nothing else Cause I want to go in there. I like to go and get my pots and make my like, organize my tops up here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if I can have my own little my own little cabinet just for my my stuff that I use to cook with, then I'll be greatly appreciative. Okay, sorry. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Whatever. Right. And that drawer over here where he is has. Bacon bowls in it. Which makes sense. And, but I feel like they should be near the baking stuff. That's just how I feel. They should be near the baking stuff. So, now we got to figure out what are we shifting around mm -hmm. so that we can figure out what's going to go here, how many containers we need for this designated new pantry. Because it's just easier for me to just take. That's already measured in How often are you in here cooking macaroni and cheese? Often. You already know that. That's my one of my favorites. And spaghetti. Same thing with spaghetti. Don't put my don't put the spaghetti in the in the in the containers because then I gotta you know I could take it and do the little hand thing, but I like to be precise with my measurements. And the box I already give you exactly a pound or two pounds. And now I'm hooked on the ones that's already cut in half. Okay, continue. <laughs> it's about convenience too, you know what I'm saying? It's about organization, but it's also about being about, about convenience for me. Okay, I don't know if that's not or not, but Okay, so, well we got rice, spaghetti. Flour sugar. Flour sugar. Now I'm just gonna listen, because I'm already inserted a lot. Okay. Kitchen is the heart of home. But I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. You know this. Okay. <laughs> Real relationship stuff that you're watching right now. These. You want to keep this as the oil. I mean. Okay, here's a bunch we of rice. shouldn't even have that much. Over there. Yeah, now, so I that... think rice creates bugs. Like if this. Open. I feel like it'll cause those things to hatch. Yeah, it already got some things in it. Okay, so this needs to go then in okay. the trash. Um, oil down here, he's, okay, I don't But that's it. a lot of oil. Do we need that much oil? No, I don't need that much oil. You buy that much oil, babe. What are you talking about? More extra, that, that could be, look, this is. Only bad, bad because I can't find it because it's lost in the, in the thing. Vegetable oil, big vegetable oil. Um, okay, the bread. This is how the bread ends up. No oh, okay. tie on it. Just opened up like that. It's a bread issue. I was looking for these. See, we can't find nothing. Looking for these. Chips end up like get this. Like this is probably stale because it's open. It is. This is stale because it's open. So we need some of them chip clips. Um. I just literally, like, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I literally don't know where to begin. Um, 
All these canned goods came from the apocalypse pile. Let me just go ahead and admit that. All these came from the apocalypse pile, but I thought Ron was donating them to the food bank um, because he doesn't eat out of cans, really. Like, all this stuff probably would never get cooked. So... But we still need a... We still need something to house canned goods in a nice... That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm thinking that if maybe I can build another slide-out shell just strictly for the, the height of a canned good. And pull it out. So it'll be this this yeah. width, this narrow. And, and pull, pull it, it out. out. And then that way you can see the can. You can see what... Because I can't get to nothing. I don't know why. And that's so inconvenient. Okay. I think. It is. It is. So we ha I see bottled stuff back here. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, this also could be used for some of that electronic stuff. Like we got a lot of in this lazy Susie. We got a lot of like the toaster and the and the right. fryer and the pressure cooker and you know the can opener. We got all that stuff that I can't get. I have to go over here and basically lose my whole mind trying to get the stuff. You know, crock pots. Like this lazy Susie, ain't that supposed to be for canned goods? Yeah. Stuff you can spin around. Not really that stuff. Not really that stuff. Right. So maybe we can move some of show now. What? Yeah. Oh. Let me show me. So should we have a container for brown sugar? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I like, I like, I like. Crouton station. Talk to me. So, salad station. So, it's not about croutons, but it's about salad. You got your croutons, your um, raisins, your... Um, Those are sunflower seeds. Sunflower so. seeds, your craisins. Right? Right. We got this a tall one. Yeah, but why would you want to put that entire box in there? Well, we buy this all the time. I mean, we literally buy this all the time. But yeah, okay, but I got you. I'm just looking for something tall, that's all. Well, I nothing else tall. No. We do not. Yeah. Well, you can feel there, then. You know what I'm saying? Well, this one would be one of those. So look at that. You yeah, probably didn't know you had that. that. Let's look at that. Where these nuts come from? I don't know. <laughs> hot chocolate. That would be over there. See, okay. hot chocolate would be over there in the drink station. Season packs like this could go here. So you have this little container. Okay. For demonstration purposes. And then these little packs of... Oh, almost there. Almost. What do we do? Three. One, two, three. That would be sweet. That would be sweet. Yep. What that one for? I don't know. Looks like something came off the refrigerator. Oh, this drawer right here? Oh. Okay, so anyway, look. Oh, that would be so nice. You can stack them like this. Bam, bam. And then you just go through, see which one you want, whatever. And then it would go in here this way if it was to fit. So we find three that fit. Well, that's not enough space for three. Well, if that's what I'm saying. We'll oh. find three. Okay. Anyway, that's that was my idea for this specific one. What do we do? Um, for that. Look up there. See that? So I have. Oh, oh, no. No. This big blender right here. I'm thinking. Um. Ugh. Fit even like that. No, it's not. Yes, it will. 
Hang on. Did you bring it to the front? And with this go in front. So I have my little cake mixer here, right? That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> That might go at the top. Because how often are you going to use that? But that might go at the top. That's perfect right there, though. Yeah, that works. That okay. works great. That works great. And it goes all the way in, as you can see. So we need this. Just grab this. Bam. Because right here is... I see what you're doing. That's how I'm mixing those. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> so I'm mixing stuff. I'm trying to interrupt my flow, y'all. Okay, so I feel like this. Now, we still have a thick shelf at the very top, and I really feel like that should be for stuff we don't reach for all the time, but still be able to have access to it. Stuff we very rarely reach for. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is looking so much better. Man, I feel like we made a lot of progress. Okay. And all of the glass My stuff heart is, is racing so bad right now. But you got now. this, babe. Like, you got this. Yeah, I know, but I'm, <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. What was you saying you could put down there that I, I didn't hit you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't hit you. What was you saying? Those sand jars, they don't have to eat, but they don't have to go out. That makes sense, though. That makes sense. Okay. Maybe all of that stuff you was talking about. The ketchup. <sighs> I almost forgot. I need a container. You definitely need a great container. <laughs> and you can fill that boy up to the max. We always shrimp and gripping it or breakfasting it, it for sure. We made so much progress. So much progress. No, I don't. I don't think the jar stuff needs to go. I think the jar stuff needs to go on the shelf. One of these shelves. All right. <laughs> yeah. Babe, I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Your energy, uh, your energy, but, uh, your energy. I'm overwhelmed right now. Like seriously. Okay. All right. We'll be okay. Jiffy, we here. Jiffy. Didn't even know. Foil. That drawer right there is going to be all that kind of stuff, I feel like. And it's just perfect. Okay. What are we going to do about junk drawer? Maybe you don't need to accumulate no junk. How about that? <laughs> Man, we need a junk drawer. Ron? You need a junk drawer. Every kitchen needs a junk drawer. I'm so overwhelmed. Hmm. What if? What if? No, uh, please. That drawer is specific for paper goods, right? Look at it, it's perfect for it. Because all the different sizes just fit so nicely in there. Very. We have made this the paper, plastic bag, storage container, the storage bags, aluminum foil, Parchment paper, that's that whole drawer, and it looks nice. Let me actually. 
Okay. Spaghetti, flour, sugar is no longer three. Pancakes, four. We only got four large containers. Outside the sugar. So should we do... At this point, I'm being quiet. I'm oh, don't get quiet now and listen. <laughs> I'm looking at your facial expression. Don't, don't get quiet no, now. Just keep, keep going. <laughs> keep going. You have all the ideas, right? So just I don't going. have all the ideas. Yeah, you know. I just spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Okay, so then let's organize it per your No, way. let's organize it per our way. Let's just do it your way. You probably spend more time in here than me. Babe, so. babe don't be like that. Don't be like that. Listen, let's organize it. We're collaboration. That's what we do. There's no compromise in our relationship. It's always collaboration. Win-win. Win-win. Well, I don't feel like I'm winning right now. Okay, well, let me be quiet. Let me let you no, no, it's too late to be quiet. You've shifted all of this how you want it thus far, so it's not going. Baby, if you rewatch, you will Let's see this. Keep, it's no. all been collaboration. It ain't me shifting it. Let's the keep way going. I want it to go. No, I'm being quiet. No, don't be quiet. Yeah, nope. You've done all of this. Yeah, I'm out. I'm work. <laughs> Now you so busy doing other stuff. Ron, what are you doing? I'm hard. Oh! <laughs>the in the what you call it dent and scratch section mm -hmm. for twenty four dollars because they didn't even have the baskets in stock and it came with the uh rails and it matches the closet <laughs> so it's like perfect it's waiting for him so we did have just a little bit of luck 
little tiny bit. Here we are in TJ Maxx. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina, by the way. And they had a very limited supply of storage containers. Like, literally not enough to get all of them to be the same. So, we just browsed for a little bit. Ron did some measuring. And then we decided to go next door to Bronson Coat Factory. Because there was nothing really in here. No luck in TJ Maxx, so we're going to have to try Burlington now, and we don't give up easy, do we? No, baby, We'll find them. We will find them. Burlington Coat has just this and this. No luck in here either we are still down in Charlotte and we decided to try the container store um, and if we don't get any luck have any luck here then I think we're gonna do Amazon if we don't have no luck here then we just ain't have no container if we can't find containers in the container store. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you. maybe you are cheaper. Oh. <laughs> you, you are more of a bargain shopper than me, so we'll see. I already knew they were going to have millions of containers here at the container store. But I also know Ron is cheap when it comes to certain stuff. And I knew these containers, he was not going to pay the price for them. I just knew he wasn't. But I appeased him and came into the store anyway, just so that he could see. And so it was a no-go. So we did find some on Amazon while we were in the parking lot. So I think he's going to order the ones off of Amazon. So today was a, a whole outing, but... We just didn't have any luck finding either enough or in the price range at which he wanted to spend for the containers. But they had plenty, though. Whew. Okay, so it is 8.48 p.m. We started this process at 11 o'clock. And this is where we are in organization so far. This is the main pantry. So this is what we've come up with. So far, and then paper goods up there. So this is the main pantry. And let me show you another organized spot. This is Ron's personal designated, designated his own pot cabinet. So this is just what he uses his stuff to cook with in there. Now the pantry, we just have everything that's gonna go in a container so let me start at the top there's nothing up here yet um we showed you this earlier in the clips this is the the blender and the cake mixer here and then the existing containers the stuff that's gonna go in containers more containers section this will be changed out all these sunflower seeds. Look at this. That's a little bit obnoxious, but okay. And then down here is baking stuff, but right here is all the baking stuff, like the little bowls and measuring cups, sifter, um, cupcake thing rods. It's in this drawer. And I already tell you what's on that one. And nothing is on this one. And this little one just has the flat stuff in these containers. But he already had these. Um, so that's organized. What else? What else is organized? Are we on a roll or what? What else? Over here? Okay. So let me come around here and show you this. So, bam. 
I moved all the coffee mugs over here. Now, all these coffee mugs are bringing back memories for y'all. Because these are all the coffee mugs that we use in our chats. The grandkids' uh, coffee mugs for Christmas. Sugar. Sugar coffee. Sugar. Ron uses this kind of sugar. And his coffee. Um, what are these? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And this needs to be organized too, but it goes in this thing. So we have tea up there. It needs to come down. And then this will be empty. This will be empty. But let me stand back so you can see it better. So that's how that cabinet is looking. Okay, babe, open up the other one right there. Or is there anything in that one? You know, you, what you think about, I'm just asking, but what do you think about me installing those things that the wine glasses hang upside down? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like on this shelf here. So I don't know if I'm going to move them over here now since they do have a, they have a nice place over there, though. Now that I just <laughs> think about it. And then over here we just have um, vitamins, vitamin stuff, and bottled stuff. Hot sauce, hot sauce, and then salad dressings. We have those up here. And then two empty usable spaces there. Um... This was the most problematic large storage space. So that's what she's looking like for now. What else? I think that's all we've tackled today. And then I showed y'all the, um, the, uh, I can't think y'all. I showed you this drawer with all the. You know what this stuff is. This stuff. Sure. Oh, and these are uh, popsicle sticks. So I'm going to put these over here with the baking stuff. So, look at me organizing. Okay. Damn. And that's that.